if your current ROM has advanced restart button, use that. If you don't have, use the traditional type of like I am using the advanced restart button, go into recovery like this. If you don't have that, use the power up button and sorry, power button and volume up button, press it and you will get into the recovery. And use the latest recovery, guys. The TWRP latest recovery I already shown in the video. You can check out in my channel. I will the I will give the cards here. This is how you need to boot into recovery. As you can see, this is a 3.6.0.10.1 Surya for TWRP recovery for Surya. This is the latest version for Poco X3. And now go into the wipe section and select advanced wipe. Dalvik catch a data. Swipe to wipe. Let her go into install and select the storage SD card and wherever you have downloaded the ROM zip file and this firmware. I am going to first flash the firmware, the latest one Surya Global 12.5.4. As it can see here, it's here. Swipe it, it's get flashed, and later select the ROM zip file. Cherish OS 3.2 flash it it takes a little bit of time wait for it as you can say ROM zip file has been flashed once it has done go to wipe again and select format data and type YES and press this and later go into reboot and select the system this is how the flashing method of any ROM you will be watching videos on my channel regarding this POCO X3 how to flash the ROMs and what all the customization bugs features available in this ROM will be soon in this video in the later part so if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon as you can see the logo has been appeared this is how flashing method let's see what all the bugs features available in this ROM Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video guys, this is Sampath, you are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is a POCO X3 device as you guys can see here, there is a POCO X3, this is the Android 12 version and this is a Cherish OS version 3.2 and this is the latest security patch 5th December 2021 and the kernel used here is 4.14.190 Perf Surya kernel and this is the latest build December 19 build and selling status is M4 sync and you can see the build number and build date. This is how the Cherish OS 3.2 on POCO X3 with Andertal and this is the CPU throttling test I have been running for 5 minutes you can check out here. The maximum is 161 and average 154 and minimum 140 which is a decent score here and there are little bit of bugs in the ROM and also some of the features that are very interesting let's see one by one and if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon if you like the video give it a like guys let's start the video let's start with dialer let's see whether we will get a direct video call feature or not yes you will get a direct video call feature and let's see call recording is it there or not no Unfortunately, there is no call recording feature in this ROM. This is a Cherry Swiss 3.2 version on POCO X3 with Android 12 and there is a basic camera application. And here I want to show you like a bug. Let me go into library. Okay, screenshots. As you can see, in this ROM, there is no option of like, it will show you to format the sd card to use as a portable storage also and even use as extra phone storage also this is the one thing i don't like it in this rom you need to definitely format the sd card then only it's usable that is the one thing i don't like such a way i did not install the nikita gcam anyhow you can install any gcam ports on this rom that's not a problem and let's see the drm info in this rom as you can see the wide one level one certification is given such that you can watch all the OTT application in HD content which is not a problem in my opinion and let's see the Geekbench scores here as you can see the single score is 515 and multi score is 1526 the kernel used here is this one because of this you are getting this score 
and it's fine one thing i have noticed in this rom is like while i was setting up and i need to download the bgmi resources files i kept like that wherever i mean whenever i'll keep like that in any rom period it was getting little bit warm for some reason in this rom it was cooler enough but i don't know even fan was also turned off maybe because of weather or what i don't know but it was little bit cooler that's one thing i liked in this rom and let's see the google pay you can definitely use it out i'll show you the safety net status in this rom let's see there's a cherry's voice 3.2 poco x3 as you can see it get passed you can definitely try it out as a daily reader there are many reasons you can try it out this is the official one guys and into the settings panel you will get all the basic settings and here you get cherish settings in the status bar you can change some of the settings like double tap to sleep is there career level clock settings traffic indicators 4g icon volt icon select volt icon you can choose from here you can check out and status bar items plenty are given you can enable from disable or here battery settings you get battery style here plenty are given and let's move into quick settings settings you get battery estimates running service icon edit icon show brightness slider show brightness slider and quick i mean the qs panel adaptive brightness button show brightness slider on button and vibrate on touch quick ps pull down qs footer warnings those things are given in the theme section you can use custom color you can adjust the luminance from here chroma factor theming can be done and the dark theme which is again i don't like it it's not in pitch black condition it's little type gray type i don't know when it will get fixed in other tall roms most of the roms comes with like that gray type which i don't like it anyhow do comment down in the comment section below you also guys don't like such kind of dark theme or what mention me in the comment section below and in the button settings you get all the basic things you can read out here and coming to animations here animation styles are no you want you can choose flip and rotate and animation duration also you can select and animation interpolate also you can select from here and the lock screen settings you get double tap to sleep wake and lock screen charging information you can enable or disable from here A music visualizer is also given you can enable or disable from here some of the options like automatic color lava lamp type you can choose if you enable these things those are the cool some of the cool features available in this rom even advanced restart button also available let me show you as you can see in the advanced restart button you can directly go into recovery or even to system ua that's not a problem in the miscellaneous settings you get charging animation brightness control not any gaming mode yes they have mentioned here gaming mode you guys can see here but it's not available this all the cherish settings and coming to battery I'll see you as you can see the battery life is also going to be good in this okay so after flashing this cherish os 3.2 and the latest december 5th security patch and there are some optimization for profiles you can choose certain apps you can optimize personally which or app you need to optimize some of the options are given battery manager is given battery saver is also given extreme battery saver is also present in this rom which is not a problem and in the display settings let me show you there is a option of minimum refresh rate and maximum refresh rate you can change them to get whatever you need and colors also there is option let me choose boost it you can change some of them and scrolling speeds as you can see it's fine actually it's 120 hertz definitely there is a smoothness as you can see i can notice some of the smoothness in this rom and in the system you get this gesture settings system navigation there is no option to increase the gesture bar length and even the radius that's keep missing in and tall roms from long time when they will add i don't know and that's all location working security features are also working fine fingerprint only fingerprint unlock is given as you can see let me hold like this it's quick enough but there is no face unlock as of now in any custom rom so only few of them have been added in the avsp and the 12 roms there is no face unlock as of now pattern lock and fingerprint are working fine in this from location security accessibility menu is also given let me show you as you can see 
without using the volume buttons you can adjust from here even you can take the screenshot and go to power menu many of the options it's a handy feature you can definitely try it out if you want to use this accessibility menu that's not a problem and let's move into the bgmi and let me show you the graphic settings you get smooth plus ultra if and you can enable using the jfx tool which is not a problem it's smooth enough you guys can judge while watching the video i mean while well, gameplay of this and this is how the volume panel you get The volume is not loud enough. Okay, I'll come back and let me show you the charging animation anything we get or what nothing you will get just this information I have plugged in 10 watt chargers if you want you can use 33 watt charger also the speeds are normal nothing great or nothing bad even this is how the Cherish OS 3.2 on this POCO X. If you really like the video, give it a like, guys. I will get a motivation to make similar kind of videos. And thank you for watching, guys. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.